when if there's a trillion dollars, for example, that's going to go into real estate, right? Governments have the ability to control the supply of that real estate in order to make sure the market stays stable. If there's too much too much sudden increase and too much demand, the government can respond by increasing permits for building, right? For, as an example, so they can balance out the supply and demand of real estate quite easily. Same thing with gold. I just issue more permits for you to dig more gold, and then you get more gold. So, whereas with Bitcoin, you can't do that. So if the ex-managing director of BlackRock, who was talking uh, at a conference in London, is correct, and there's $200 billion of demand uh, in the first three to five years after a Bitcoin spot ETF, that equates to about $192 million per day of demand if it is equally spread out through the 756 trading days that you have. If that's the case, then you're looking at a day one Bitcoin price of $198,000 a coin. There's going to be something.